President Obama will be in Northern Virginia this week for a town hall meeting on gun violence. But today he gave a passionate plea with a list of executive actions he's decided to take. Here's Senator your sides, Nita Blanton, with reaction. Anita? Well, Tom and Nicole, the president's executive actions include expanded background checks and essentially redefining what it means to be a gun dealer with tough consequences for those who don't uphold the law. Before a room full of Americans directly affected by gun violence, President Obama talked about the many visits he's made following shootings, the pain of people mourning and recovering. He said this just doesn't happen in other advanced countries and shouldn't become normal here. Each time this comes up, we are fed the excuse that common sense reforms like background checks might not have stopped the last massacre or the one before that or the one before that. So why bother trying? I reject that thinking. And he wants the American people to accept what he calls common sense solutions he laid out today. He spoke of the tragedies many of you have tuned in and seen on TV. Fort Hood, Charleston, San Bernardino and more. Little action taken after the tears have dried. I'm not on the ballot again. I'm not looking to score some points. I think we can disagree without impugning other people's motives or without being disagreeable. We don't need to be talking past one another, but we do have to feel a sense of urgency about it. His critics immediately hit back. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee said, in America, we believe in the Constitution, not confiscations, dictatorships, or kings. And Obama's newest assault on the Second Amendment is a blatant, belligerent abuse of power. But the president said his steps today were no slippery slope, contrary to what some may think. He says he's toughening regulations, adding FBI examiners, doing more for mental illness, and boosting gun safety technology because excuses and inaction will no longer suffice. We told you about Congressman Bobby Scott meeting with the president yesterday. He's the vice chair of the House Democratic Gun Violence Prevention Task Force. He said the president's executive actions today will ensure stronger enforcement of current laws, reduce the number of lives lost to gun violence, and make our communities safer. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side. We checked to see if the president's announcement was having an impact on local sales. The owners of Bob, the owner of Bob's Gun Shop in Norfolk, said there had been an increase in sales, but overall the president's plan wasn't as bad as he expected. It's not as onerous as it sounds, but uh, uh, I think he was going for a, a moment, uh, a political moment, and uh, for his base, he will probably uh, satisfy them and. For everyone who's not in favor of what he wants to do, he hasn't hurt us too badly. Gun control is a hot topic, bringing out passions on both sides. Head over to wavy.com and answer our poll. Let us know, are you in favor of expanded background checks for gun sales?